Hi, my name is Thais Corte. I'm so glad you have tuned in to this Finnish Connection episode. And today on ATOP TV, we have received a report of a uh, civil uprising. There's a standoff involving a sim president, Raulio, and the Farku nations. We'll listen to a song by Baby Solokari. Missan tän iltana poikani, mun lapseni kallistuu. Hän kerran mun armain toivoni, min kannoin mä herran We take you to our correspondent, Obadiah Tasampa, reporting on site. Hello, Taisto. Hello, Obadiah. Please tell us what is happening over there. We are standing in the superb Hedelmaninen Valley. The tensions are very high at the moment. On my left, there is the Farku forces. And on my right, the Asim. It has been rumored that the Farku army has a secret weapon. It's a giant by the name of Yatilayan. He's an advanced technological, mean fighting machine that's half man and half machine. He has been relentlessly taunting the Asim army for the past month, challenging them to find a man to fight him. Great fear and panic has been reported 
among the Assyrian forces as they are at a loss as to what to do with this challenge. We have found President Raul in a panic mode. It is clear that he is worried about the situation and he knows that the people expect him to be the natural challenger for his people's defense. What can he really do? The giant has caused great destruction wherever he's been. Now, here comes a farmer's boy called Kimmo. He comes to the president to offer his services to fight this giant. President Rolio is wondering how can he fight that giant, but Kimmo assures him that he's taken care of his father's animal and he can prove that he is capable because he was able to kill a bear and a lion with just his bare hands. And he's also certain that God will do the same for this Farku giant. And so President Rollo has offered him his own personal armor for his protection, but Gimmo refuses it. Now listen to this, Gimmo's weapon arsenal was just a slingshot. As he moved closer to the battle scene, he stopped by this little creek and he picked up five smooth stones. Earlier I tried to interview Farkus the Yatilain, but he was just too fearful to approach. He's strong and ferocious and he's over 11 feet tall and has the top of the military body armor all over him. Here's Kimmo facing Yattilainen. Yattilainen just laughs and scorns at him. Kimmo picks up speed and he runs fast towards him and takes that stone and he puts it in his slingshot and fires it. Aims it right in the forehead. And this just knocks him down. Yattilainen falls down. Kimmo quickly takes his weapon, finishes him off. Now it's reported that the Farku forces have all withdrawn in fear, with the Asim army hot in pursuit. What a great victory it was that day. Farmer's boy called Kimo came with faith in his God, and he saved them from all the power of this gigantic enemy. This is Obadiah Dasanba reporting for ATOP TV. Now back to the news desk. Well, folks, do we have giants in the world today? Giants that influence and control our lives. Giants often strike fear into our hearts and they terrorize us day and night. By promoting corruption and violence all over this world. Just as it was in the days of Noah, just before that great flood. The flood came and destroyed all the giants in that day. Is there a different kind of flood coming? A flood usually refers to a judgment of some kind. What can we do? And how can we overcome their power and influence? And who are these giants? living today. These giants are all over the world around us in plain sight. They are a different type of giants than they were in Noah's days. And today we have media giants. We have technology giants. We have pharmaceutical giants. And we have giant department box stores. And we have giant food stores. And we have giant oil and steel companies. We have the giant sports and entertainment companies. You see, these giants are everywhere. And they influence us. And they even deceive us to follow their false gods. Our economy has been reshaped by the rise of these new giants. These giants reinforced their position by driving their competitors out of business.
They cultivate close relations with politicians. These giants are a group of superstar companies at the heart of our global economy. For all of you out there, this report goes to show that you too, just as Kimmo did, that you too can have faith in God in the land of giants. You don't need to be afraid of them. It doesn't matter how big they are because our God is greater and bigger than all of them put together. He will help you win over them. So put your trust in Him and in His power. There may be some out there who have been deceived into trusting in these giants with their lives. And now you want to change that situation. Well, turn your eyes upon Jesus. For He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the answer for you. Let's pray. Blessed are you, O Lord God, creator of the universe. Thank you for reminding us that you are bigger than that which is in this world and that you have won the battle that day when your son Jesus died on the cross and he rose from the dead. Thank you for your amazing grace and your wonderful love towards us. Thank you for getting my attention today. I need to be reconnected with you. I open up my heart to accept you into my life. I confess my sins. Please forgive me. Thank you that you will give me the power to overcome. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you so very much for watching this Finnish Connection episode today. And remember, do not be afraid of what these giants are capable of doing, for our God is more powerful than they are. And I hope that this program has been an encouragement to you and a blessing to you. So please don't forget to share this video with all of your family and all your friends. Thank you and may God bless you and be with you. See you soon. Hey, hey.